Do you have like a routine? Do yeah. you use certain products? I don't do the same thing every night. Okay, so this has been my like go-to probably since I started using the mm -hmm. La Roche Posay line. So, and that's been that's been that's probably been a good six. You were using it when we went to California in July of 2022. Sweet. You had your little you had your products lined up. I did. I, was, I, did. I was lurking. I had just started it. Yes. I just started it then. So it's been almost a year. And your skin's glowy. It's oh like a million times better. Because your um, issue was dullness. Yeah, dullness. Um dry. dry is yeah, dry skin, which not having issues with anymore. Um, and then my pores are, have always been like the worst thing for me. Yeah. So let's see. I use that cleanser. They have a whole line of that. Yeah. They have like a whole line of this and it's E-F-F-A-C-L-A-R. Okay. And then I use that same line, La roche Pose, that same line of La roche Pose for, um, like the toner. Mm -hmm. And then I use, um, my go-to is the CeraVe Retinol Serum. Yes, we talked it's about like, that earlier. It's like a teal kind of greenish version is of it, that one. Is it in a dropper like these? No, or it's, it's like it's, a moisturizer. Whenever a brand comes out with products like this, they intend for you to use the whole line. Yeah. So a lot of people like pick and choose, like I'll use this moisturizer yeah. from here. And, the, and I don't know, I don't know how real that is. Like if it really doesn't work, if you don't use the whole line. Right. But I feel like giving it its best shot would be using the whole line. Right, right. I haven't used like that full line yet, but I do use religiously the cleanser and the toner. Mm -hmm. Um, every night and every I don't do cleanser in the morning because I find my face gets dried Dry. out in the morning. So I, whatever, maybe it's not good and maybe it is, but I literally just rinse my face in the morning. Okay, I think and as long as you're rinsing it, because yeah. I made the mistake of using the La Roche Posay retinol mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. The next morning. Forgot to wash my uh -uh. face, but wait, I did put sunscreen on top. <laughs> but I forgot to wash my face, and then I had to go to an Easter egg hunt outside, mm -hmm. and I felt my skin burning, and I couldn't oh. figure it out. I was like, I feel like I'm like burning from the inside out. Thought it was a hot flash. It was the retinol interacting with the sunshine. That will do it to you. That'll do it every time. So you gotta wash your face if you're using that. And sometimes I'll be in bed, and I'm like, I can't guarantee I'm gonna wash my face tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm not using the retinol because I'm terrified. No. I okay I'm telling you I never wash my face in the morning like I said maybe it's wrong but that's what works for me because I find that's whenever my skin gets really dry no matter what I need it feels your skin should never feel tight yes in mine what like that's like too much cleansing for my face whatever so I just rinse it yeah but I always but I still use a toner every morning is okay. that weird so I don't use a toner in the morning I do but I've recently so my whole thing is screwed up right now even how you don't wear a ton of makeup like yeah compared to how much makeup I pile on yeah. my face I feel like that helps you in the long run yeah because your skin's not coming in contact with all right I'm sure this isn't even if I go eat out and stuff like I don't do a full face because just a foundation on my face it doesn't feel good to me mm -hmm. like very bare minimal yeah so I'm doing a full face most days that can't be good but I mean it is what it is. But look, it's, for me, it's not the fact that it's not good. Like, that's not... Look, I am not any kind of way. But for me, it's the convenience. I just don't have the energy. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to wake up at that point. You're surviving. Okay, you know? I'm still surviving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... like I, I feel like you're going to be surviving until they're teenagers. <laughs> until I'm like out of my house and married. I don't right. Know. But, so for me, I think that's why, like, in the past year especially, just in general, I feel like I've just been finally feeling like a little more myself mm -hmm. that happened to like disappear whenever five years ago you know when I had my first and I think that's normal it's I feel like change. most women yeah the time between like yeah. getting pregnant and like them getting what three you four years child. old because yeah. look, your whole life is like yeah. nothing's the same nothing. even like your skin's not the same nothing. your hair's not the same oh. That's a whole different conversation. No, but I think but so many women go through that. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to have that conversation. Even like postpartum hair oh. and postpartum skin. Yes. You went through so, like your skin went from being like oily to dry. Your hair yes. was like yep. falling out. Falling out <laughs> to like now it's wants to have texture. And it's and like, so long. To, it's growing like crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, we'll have a whole mom segment. And even without 
giving birth, my hormones have changed so much from my 20s to my 30s that oh my like, God. I'm like, what, what's yeah. all this hair loss? Yes. What's all this? Yes. And it's, it's crazy. For me, it was 25. So I was not pregnant mm -hmm. at 25. I was actually needing a wheel. I don't have any water. I don't know. Something's different. Oh yeah. But I mean, the, yeah, it's all very, very, very different. But it's so overwhelming, the amount of things that can contribute. Because like, we scroll through TikTok and like there's certain TikTokers I follow and I'm like, oh, I want to try that product just mm -hmm. like you just did. Mm -hmm. And I try it and I'm like, well, it didn't work for me probably because where I live, the type of skin, I'm like, how do I find somebody who has all the things and you can, you just yeah. have to try the product you yourself. Trying. Yeah. Yeah. Do and you I ever run into the problem with it? Like, yes. Up? Okay. So it's not just me. No. It's like, am I crazy? But I've noticed. I have to use the right amount of the serum because if I use too much, that's when it really starts doing it. Especially if I do the vitamin C and then yes. the sunscreen, because mm -hmm. I use the La yeah. Roche Posay uh, sunscreen. Yeah, me too. And we probably use the exact same product. Probably. But we continuously recommend stuff yeah. to each other and, and we just, use, I've never used free sunscreen period on my face, but I'm excited because like summer, out here with the kids. And I will say some brides ask me if I use sunscreen like wedding days. No, I know. You can get That's sun terrible. damage one day. You can you can risk it for wedding pictures that don't have the white flashback. Yeah, yeah. We you don't know want, what I mean? We don't want that. The size of your pores, they'll always be the same diameter. Yeah. But what you can do is shrink them. And I was like, how does that make sense? How, how does, does that, that go? Well, that doesn't sound hand. like it makes any sense. No. So like, but that's a lot of the skincare industry is like contradicting itself. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. pore size, it can't be, it can't change in diameter, but it can shrink is yeah. one of them. And then the other is like, for me, it just seems like my, it's cleaning out my pores more. Does that make sense? Mm. See, and for me with pore, like trying to, I, I know it's terrible. I still use pore strips and I only use them once a month because I know they're bad for you. But that is the only thing yeah, that makes a difference for me. But all it's doing is taking it out. Well, like, I kind of needed to take it out because it's hard to, like, how do you get it out? I sit in that mirror and take my out? face for hours. That's what I do. Right. But and don't I, do that. I don't want to do that because then I'm like, you're causing permanent damage. It's worse. It's a double-edged sword. But yeah, my body just is like awake at six. And if I can't go back to sleep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up and I'm going to at least drink coffee. <laughs> And then, so I like to wash my face as, like, as quickly as possible because I will forget. Yeah. So if I wash my face, I pat dry with a clean towel because my skin is, I will get a pimple if I use a towel that's a, it's so annoying. Interesting. And I'm sure a lot of other people's skin is like that too. It's just yeah. not coming in contact with stuff constantly. Mm -hmm. But so I get a clean towel, dry the face off, and then when I go to put makeup on, I do the vitamin C do my brows while that dries oh, then okay. I do sunscreen then I do eye makeup then I do my the rest of my face and leaving that time for it to dry in between helps with the pilling because I used to do immediately yeah. and it was like I was like why, I do why can I peel that. it off it all? has to absorb in it okay. has to and I get that I'm just being picky I'm like I want to be quicker right but um so that's all I do in the morning and then at night wash with the La Roche Posay which one the gel cleanser it's oh is blue. it blue is it at a pump and the reason yeah. i use that instead of the hydrating one is the hydrating one leaves a film on my face ah. which is probably to hydrate my skin but i don't like that yeah. i want to start fresh yeah so i ah. use that and then i use monday wednesday friday i use the zeo exfoliating polish which is 60 dollars which is a yeah, lot of I'm money i'm not gonna lie that that c word one is I know, and like, it's really out of the normal price range that I spend on skincare, which may, I don't know, whatever. what I ration. So I'm not, not me, I'm like, I'm like, this needs to work. See, with the exfoliating polish, I literally, this is the only product I'll ever take a pea size amount, like literally, and I will outstretch it because it's so fine. I use it, I try to focus it forehead, nose, chin, neck. And okay, what's, what's this I do? It's exfoliating, and okay. I have so much dead skin. I have to use it three times a week, or I know Monday, Wednesday, Friday for you. Okay, or whenever I get around to it. Yeah. But um, that's me. The biggest difference, and it breaks my heart because I really didn't want it to be Zio because Zio is pricey, and you have to order it, and then da da da. Ugh. But mm -hmm. 
it's really the only thing that I've seen a difference with. So I use that. And then I use the Acne Clearing Pads. And for those, they're like so saturated that I cut them in four. Okay. So instead of like 60 pads, I get four times that amount. And I use that. And I can't use that every night because it burns. Oh. So we'll do every other night with that. Cause like Same it, brands? Yes, yeah, Zio. I know. Yeah. I know, I know. But I use that. And then I either use La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Acid, the Glycolic, or the retinol and then sometimes I put the Zio hydrating cream on top of that because I I have wow. the driest wow. skin known to me yeah and lately that's been working but I am anticipating that not working once it gets super hot outside so we'll adjust oh do you use eye cream okay so I do because you know that has been a pro like ever since I had the dry skin yeah it's like a big problem area for me um, and is it a problem area because it's dry or because of lines or darkness like it was because it was dry Okay, that's what it was because it would do that that like Kind of like weird flaky yes. whatever -ness. Yeah, and you can't put anything on top. No like concealer all no. that's gonna look nothing like. Yeah, and that's it, it was doing that. Yeah, so I do I use the CeraVe eye cream look let's be honest because Target I could literally walk not Target Walgreens is like right there on the corner. Yeah, it, I can literally walk there if I wanted to. And I was getting my CeraVe, the other stuff that I'm using, and then that was right there. And I'm like, hmm, I can use the eye cream. So I got the eye cream. Have you noticed any difference? I find eye cream really, really difficult to like, especially with darkness, to see a difference. Yeah. Okay. So I don't see a difference with difference with darkness. And honestly. You know, I've been having trouble with my contacts. That's so true. And so I do true. find like I'm a little darker, like right mm -hmm. closer to the line. And allergies can do that too. So it's like, right. so I'm like, is it allergies? Is it new contacts? Is it just chaos? Right. Probably. It's just chaos. I need to get in the habit of using an eye cream before I do my makeup, I think. Yeah. I think that would help. My issue is darkness, not so much dryness. It's really just darkness, which honestly, sleep. That's yeah. really the only thing that I know of that can help it. But I use the Tula stick. So, Jen, you would love it because it's very gimmicky. You roll it up and you roll it on your eyes, and it's instantly cooling. So you know, I got like 20 fans on in my room. I put it on, and it's like it feels so good. And Lord knows, who knows if it's doing anything at all. And it's like, but a it serum? feels good. What is it? It's a stick. So it's okay, like, okay, but what's on the stick? It's I a, would say is it's it more sealer. Is it like a no. moisturizer? Is it a I would say serum slash moisturizer because it's okay. not, it doesn't leave like any, I don't have to rub it in. Just using the stick is enough. I don't have to pat it in. Where do you keep your products? Where do you do your skincare routine? Mine is in my bathroom. Okay. Mind you, I have a almost five year old and a two year old. Mm -hmm. My two year old is a digger. Yeah. My son, my five year old has never been a digger. Mm -hmm. He's He's just been very content with just, it is what it is. But she needs to see everything. She needs to put her hands she on She will take everything out. She empties my drawer. She does all of this. She does all of yeah, that. That's scary with skincare because it's like, please right. don't drink the retinol. Do you want to know why? Because one of my lip mats, I see her and her, she walks out. I don't know. I figure she's playing. She walks out of her bathroom, which I don't know how we got in there. And I just see stuff everywhere. No. Everywhere, like all over her face, all in her hair. And mind you, this is a lip mask. Do is this the little dish how... one? What's it? Isn't it a jar? It is in a jar, but I think it was a different one. My mom okay. had, get, had gotten Because I mean, those are like, like almost like Vaseline um, texture. This is the same type of texture. Yeah. That's not good. And mind you, when you were trying to wash that out of a child's hair, because she literally just like... It's just like it. grease. And she's like, I need it, mom. I need it, mama. And look, love how her skin, no pimples, nothing. nothing. That didn't do anything. If we did that... Like I have sister. I'm like, I'm about to just use Dawn soap. And I did. I, I used Dawn soap in her hair, but I'm like, it's Sometimes literally not coming out. Like, you need I have a to scrub it so many times. So, mind you, that is the reason I keep it on my countertop. So it's like high. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's getting clever with how to reach things, though. <laughs> Soon she'll, she'll be sitting on that counter playing in all the rugs. Open my drawer, stand on it, and reach up. And I'm like, I don't want to keep it in the closet that's on the other side of the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, That's I mean, where I keep my stuff, see, though. I'm all about convenience. If I had mine in my bathroom, I wouldn't use it. Really? It's because when I get in bed at night, 
I like slip into my sheets, put my lavender lotion See, all over I my body, it. and then yeah. I use my little Purell. I get that off, and then I do my skincare, put it back in the drawer, and like. I'm already in bed, so I'm like, what's doing that? That's such an awkward place to me. I do, but I do, like, I know myself well enough to know that if it's right there, I'll do it every night. But if I put it in a different room, I'm gonna be like, oh, I need to get up and do that. And my brain, I'm yeah. gonna forget on the way to do it. I'm gonna grab a water. I'm gonna see the cats are out of food. I'm gonna feed the cats. I'm gonna get back in bed. It's midnight. I'm not doing skincare. So keeping it in my nightstand drawer, biggest game changer. Isn't that crazy? That's very interesting I know. how everyone